Okay, the last bit we can do here is to answer or postpone questions. Questions should be answered directly and clearly, and you should try to stay on topic. Some questions, however, are too complex, too long, or require information you do not have at hand. In this case, you can postpone answering the questions until later. This means that you may speak with the questioner later or maybe contact the questioner in another way, such as on telephone, email, or social media. Something to remember is don't use too much time answering just one question from one speaker. The audience is expecting to leave. They have things to do. So you don't want to dismiss a question, but you don't want to spend a long time on a question either. Especially if the, complex, if the question is complicated, is complex, or has many parts. You want to say, well, that's a great question, but we don't have a lot of time left. Can I get back to you? That's a good way to handle that. If you're unsure, or if it's just too long or complicated, you can just say something like this. The answer, as best I know, is... As best I know means I'm going to tell you the short answer. The best way to answer that question is and then you give them a short answer. The answer can be seen here on slide 10. Of course, that's a great way if you can just say, here's my slide, it has your answer. That's the best way to answer a question. The answer is simple. The answer to that question is very easy. Now these are for easy questions, and usually you have your slide or you have a flip chart and you can just quickly draw or write on it and make your point. Very, very positive when you can have an easy answer. How can we postpone a question? I don't have the details with me. I'll send those to you after the meeting. The issue is a bit complex. And I think we are running late. May I disclose this with you at another time? Now, I like this one because we're specifically mentioning the time. Right? So we're running late. We're running out of time. Or I don't have that information with me because your question is complicated. So let me get back to you on that. That's a great way to postpone questions. The part you mentioned was actually completed by another person on the team. So I am not sure I can answer your question accurately. Let me relay your question to the person directly responsible for that part, and he can contact you. Boy, that's a long sentence, right? That's very long. But I think it's very easy to understand, and it's a great way to postpone a question. I am not sure I can answer. I don't know the answer. Why? Because I did not do this part. This part was another person responsible. He or she can contact you and I will send you that information or I will send your information to him or her. I'm not sure I can answer this question quickly and simply. Maybe we could meet after the session is over and we have more time. There is much more I would like to explain related to this question, but I think we are out of time. I am not sure I understand the question. After the meeting, I can go look over the details and get a more complete picture. So again, time is an easy excuse, or you just be honest and say, the question is complicated, we don't have enough time, or I don't quite have the information, or I need to check with somebody, or I need to go get the information. 
These are great ways to postpone the question, especially in a complex situation like about your research.